Hey everyone, how are we all doing? Mm, sorry. Okay, so before I get into anything, everything I say in this video is my opinion and mine alone. Please feel free to do your own research, come to your own conclusions. With that being said, let's do this. Okay. So, I want to talk about Radiant Red. Miss, I'm better than everybody else. Miss, gatekeeper of YouTube. Miss, just because I do it shouldn't, doesn't mean you should. Miss, I'm everything. Let's just put it there, is it? So, not so long ago, Brit brought out a video saying that people were making too many videos on Gabby. And it breaks my heart to think about this poor young girl and her family. But then Brit decided to call out five YouTubers. She said four, but she had Katie in there for good, thing, good times. Um, she put AZ, Josh. She did change her tone with Josh, though. Her face looked less aggressive. Her voice was less angry and I want to kill you. An all matter of a different sort of energy, completely. But when she spoke about AZ, she said that um, t spiracy. She made a comment about her not doing any true crime before, but she does. When AZ sees something she's interested in talking about, she talks about it. Whether that is true crime, YouTube gossip, whatever anyone else is speaking about in the headlines. If she likes the idea to talk about it, she talks about it. And there's nothing wrong with that. So, she's going off on one about these creators who've made 8, 20, 30, 50 YouTube videos on Gabby or Brian or both. Now, let's take a quick trip down memory lane, shall we, Brett? I remember before you were monetized. And, well, only slightly before you were monetized, because I found you when you made a video. Why I stopped watching Katie Joy. Now, I don't mean, I hate those videos. Does anyone else hate those videos? Why I stopped watching. You stopped watching. Fair. Fine. I don't need to know you stopped watching them. I know bothered you stopped watching them. I don't care if Katie Joy is your favourite YouTuber. That's your privilege. None of my business who like it or not. I'm not going to tell you you can't watch someone. I'll tell you whether I disagree with what someone's doing or someone's actions. I'm not going to say stop watching this creator because they're a pig. Or I stopped watching this creator, now you must. Because that's the kind of impression you give when you say to people, why I stopped watching. You stopped watching, fair enough. Have a nice day, let's move on. But let's take a walk down memory lane, shall we, Brett? I'm going to change cameras. Okay, so here we have a Radiant Brett's channel. I'm going to go to video videos. And I'm going to move me over here. And I'm going to sort by the oldest. Okay, so Brit started out on YouTube approximately two years ago. And she was doing makeup. 
She wanted to be a beauty guru. Mm, very nice. Two years, two years. She wasn't getting the best of views though, was she? I know mine know better, but I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not even insulting anybody. I'm just trying to make a point here. So, two years, two years ago she was doing makeup. One year ago, still doing makeup. Get a few more views. Not none like she's getting now, of of course. Makeup, 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 makeup. Now I am aware that Brett did take down a lot of her Katie Joy content. Why I don't know because that is what made her. One year ago, eyeshadow, makeup haul, anti makeup haul, beauty, low buy, why I'm doing it, common skincare, when beauty gurus stop being relatable. So she was doing makeup for a long time. Makeup, 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 makeup. Makeup, makeup, makeup. We're still at one year. And it was about one year that she changed to talking about Katie. Probably just over now. And believe me, there were daily videos on Katie. Daily. And you can see her starting to go into the commentary department. Into the commentary world over here. So let's let's discuss Micah Staffer. Now, that was around the time that she started talking about Katie Joy. And let me tell you, every day was a Katie Joy video, literally every day. The only thing she was posting about why I, there we go, there's the one, why I stopped watching without a crystal ball. And then for a long time she was just making Katie Joy content. Until one day she decided she got bored of making Katie Joy. I'm going to change back to my other camera now. But as you can see, slowly the makeup has disappeared. Now and again you see something, one product she's using. But it's all become about, oh, true crime. Without a crystal ball. But she's removed a lot of her Katie Joy content. Like I said, I'm not sure why. It's just the way it seems to have been. A moment and that's that so now she's going off on people who are making Brian and Gabby videos people are overdoing it what is it that gives her any right to be telling people what they should and shouldn't be posting and then the icing on the cake. She talks about people who clickbait. Take a look at this title here. I should have done this while I was in the um, 
videos, but oh well. Signing off. Signing off forever. Clickbait match kit. Uh, now I'm forgetting what I'm talking about. You clickbait a match there, Brett. Didn't think you'd like a clip break. Clip baiters. As for the going after AZ, that was completely uncalled for. Maybe think about your actions and your previous actions before accusing other people. AZ is a good person. And you plug her into the same category as Josh and Katie Joy. She's nothing like those pair. She's way better than those pair put together. But telling people that they shouldn't make X amount of videos on people. Hmm. How quickly you forget, Brett. Literally every day was another Katie video, Katie Joy video with you. Every day. Keeping Brian's face out there is keeping people alert. Has more people looking out for him. Every share shows one more person. A wanted man. A man who potentially hurt his fiance, killed her fiance, killed his fiance. What am I on about her? Oh my god. And you sit there judging people. How about you look at your own self before judging others? And that's all I got to say. Have a good day, everyone.